We've just went through hell. We... Okay, first of all, we're in Algonquin again. Um, the Competitive Gaming Club. We went through hell. We went through hell tonight. Yes, so we went through hell tonight. We played Bible Buffet. Uh, it is the number 20 for us, uh, so it's kind of special. I mean... It's getting old, we're getting old, so that's special. It's the Super Mario Kart edition. Uh, we played a bit of Super Mario Kart. What, how do we do tonight? You know, what do we play? We played a couple of games. I'm trying to remember a lot of them. <laughs> I play... Bible Buffet! Yeah, Bible Buffet, which... It's not a bad game, but it's not a good game. It's like one, it's like one of those games that you... You play when you hate yourself or something. Yeah, I know, like... At first, you'll be like, yay! Yay! I got a new game for Christmas! And then later on, you're like, why? Why this game for Christmas? Why? And then later on, you're like, chick, chick. the deer hunter. That's the sum of it. I mean, the only game that would be worse than that is Kepler's, you know, anything. And what else? What would be worse than Bible Buffet? And uh, we haven't explained what's in Bible Buffet, so let's do that. Well, uh, first thing, the only thing that's worse is Color Dinosaur and Mario's <laughs> Time Machine. And we already played Color Dinosaur. We added polka dots outside of the actual, and stripes. You don't actually get to color the dinosaur, you just make it polka dotted. I, I want to make a blue Stegosaurus, for God's sakes. Stegogochi for the win. <laughs> Anyways, so back to Bible Buffet, which is a guy throwing like tampons or something. We don't. What was? What else could that be? Q-tips. Q-tips are tampons at different foods. So there's what? There's Dessert Land is the last one. Yeah. There's Barbecue Land, Liquid Land. There's a Liquid Land. There's Salad Land. Burger Land. What else? Fast Food Land. Fast Food Land. That's almost all of them. What? Can we think of the other ones? Pizza Land. Yeah, there's Pizza Land. Fruit land, vegetable land, potato land. It's like... It's I think we can almost have them all there. That's amazing. It's like freaking Candyland, only more... St actually, no. Candyland actually was a little more like you draw the cars, you move where the spaces tell you to. So it, it was like... It was like a railway. This gives you like a spinner. This is all over the place. And I was worried that there was going to be a second map because it took us like an hour to get through the that first map and I'm like you know imagine if there's another map yeah like no it's gonna pull a ghosts and goblins on us and as we enter the end it's like this ending is a trap devised by Satan <laughs> quick with haste well maybe he made the game because it was pretty horrible and you get to watch it too <laughs> we got to suffer through it <laughs> and it actually put Nick back like, I kept getting sixes, you know, occasional twos, tens, and it kept putting Nick back, like, four spaces each time because it, it didn't like Nick because he kept doing well on the quizzes. Mario Party, move over. You want a game that ruins friendships? You get Bible Frick. I'm just disappointed that there isn't a Bible Buffet Kickstarter. <laughs> no. Uh, like, no? Like, no, wait, wait, wait. Like... So, uh, for those who pay $10, you get food. For those who pay $100, you get um, Q-tips. For $10,000, you get to make your own game inside the game. Is that, like, you know, like those little uh, asset rewards. Uh, it's been so long since I've seen a Kickstarter. For $10, you get, you know, french fries and ice cream from McDonald's. For $20, you get just french fries, but like extra, extra large french fries. <laughs> then for $40, you get Bible Buffet 64, which hasn't been made yet. But it wouldn't be too hard since the game's pretty straightforward. Yeah, the game's pretty straightforward. Virtual console. It's like it's like one of those games that you have to play to believe. It's, I, I would consider it the room of video games, but I'm pretty sure that that title belongs to Ride to Hell. That's why we need to make another one. Wisdom Tree, if you're out there, <laughs> we need another Bible Buffet. Help us, Obi-Wan Bible Buffet. You're our only hope. No, just kidding. No. I think every single fast food in that game, there's pizza. What else is there? 
Uh, there's like sentient tomatoes. Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Yes, it starts off with the Killer Tomatoes. Yeah, the g bread. Grad. Grad? <laughs> you said grad, I said I said bread. Bread, bread, bread. <laughs> There, there's a snowman, but we haven't played the, but we haven't played that level, so we haven't encountered the snowman. But in the game, if you put the oil slick, the oil bomb, on top of the uh, snowman's head, you actually get to decapitate him <laughs> and then blow up his decapitator. Yes, that's another thing. There's actually toxic waste. I mean, for a Bible game, there's toxic waste, and you drop that and you explode everything like Bomberman. Yeah. Like you take Bomberman, you take Candyland, you take the Game of Life Spinner, you you make like a Frankenstein, and we also have the pop quizzes. Yes, <laughs> you can't win at the pop quizzes. I mean, they don't tell you the question, and you have to guess at the answer, true or false. And there's always three questions, and Nick was doing really well, and then all of a sudden they didn't like him because he was doing too well. No, you were doing too well. I was like, uh, I was failing, so it, they. I felt sorry and kept giving me 10 spins and 10 spaces and keys for some reason we never found out what the keys do I think it means you're more likely to get more spins or something I don't know for all I know the keys could just be the key to Xehanort's plan to opening Kingdom Hearts or something the key to Pizza Land and but we did play some Mario Kart we played some battle mode and uh, what else did we play we played Captain oh uh, no we didn't play Captain Commando that's why I played all earlier is there a Captain... Oh, God. There is a Captain Planet game, and it's really bad. There's an arcade game, too, which hopefully we'll play in the future once MAME is updated. Like an arcade game? Like I think there is. Like, as in, like, you get to play the Planeteers, and they go... I think so. Feeding, and then you do the <laughs> better powers combined. If, if it's like... It's too excited at this point. If it's like the Ninja Turtles or X-Men, like, side-scrolling beat-em-ups, I'm in. We could play those too, actually. Uh, I'm in the process of obtaining them, so yeah. It's just a matter of, you know, letting someone borrow. Either the Ouya MAME gets updated, or someone lets us, kind person lets us borrow their computer, or I bring my netbook. That would work. Yeah. It should handle it. I mean, it's, it's not a powerhouse, anyways, but. And hook up the netbook to the TV so we get a bigger monitor. Yeah, that was exactly what I was thinking. So maybe we'll do that next week. We'll make a. Arcade beat him up and when we don't go home we stay here until 2 in the morning and Bruce never lets us come again <laughs> Pretty much that would probably be what happened Actually the game's pretty short those beat em ups. They're like an hour long. Yeah, yeah. but that game Why well, if I get here at 5 ideally which never seems to happen. I try but it just never happens but uh, anyways Number 20 We're gonna keep doing it for a long long time Every week, we've done 20 weeks already, which is insane. Really it's insane. Totally insane. Insane! In the membrane. <laughs> insane in the membrane! Anyways, any final thoughts? Because we want to keep this one short. And sweet. And Bible. sticky. <laughs> Bible games. Buy all the Bible games you can off the internet. <laughs> or what, emulate what? them. Or emulate them because you're poor. Oh, order out of print, you know, so that's why. While we're on this topic, what's your favorite Bible game? Actually, oh god. Super Noah's Ark? No, 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 wait. The NES Noah's Ark, where you're running oh, so no. fast that the camera can't catch up, you get to pick up 20 cows over your head. Oh my god, no. And, like, it, they all follow the same thing, but there was like this one game where you have uh, Moses' mother carrying Moses, carrying... Uh, carrying a guard, carrying this, carrying that. Oh my god. Like, you carry like 10 animals at once? Yep. And you get to shove them all in the ark. It's like... <laughs> Actually, there is a loud grunting noise, so it's kind of scary too. Anyways, Nick, we've got to traverse to McDonald's and everyone seems to be leaving right now. So we're going to head out to McDonald's, spoil ourselves. We shall traverse to Traverse Town. He needs to get his poutine. I need to get a... Uh, a fake dairy product, <laughs> artificial sweetener in a in a plastic container. So, anyways, we're gonna be back next week. You know, maybe we'll do arcade. We'll give that a shot. See if we can do that. And uh, it'll be like a barrel of monkeys. A barrel of monkeys fun or whatever. What's the expression? Tons of fun. Toxic waste from Bible buffet fun. Yeah, whatever he said. <laughs> whatever I said.
<laughs> Whatever he said. What? I Did you just kiss? <laughs> you just kissed the microphone, so now it's time to run. I, I <laughs> Before just, I get kissed I on the cheek. I tried to eat them. By I the way, Valentine's Day is coming up, but <laughs> you're a bit early. Yes, Valentine's Day is coming up. So, so a whole month away. So buy your candies. Send someone a nice Valentine this year. Show them that you love them. Or show them that you hate them. I mean, it's up to you. And if you want to show them that you hate them, <laughs> Bible games! <laughs> give them Bible games! Or give leave a barrel of toxic waste outside their house on their front doorstep. Or lots of cabbage and other food from Bible Buffet. Or, even better, Bible games and a Philips CDI. <laughs> yes, they make those on CDI. Or a Nokia Engage for those lonely times when you can't find someone on Valentine's Day. Yep. Hey, I'm talking on a Nokia Engage. <laughs> Anyways. Wait, I think I need a taco oh. to make this more appropriate. Well, I'll have to find one for five or ten dollars off the interwebs, and then bring one here so that we can showcase how it's so awfully shaped. So we could do taco talking. Anyways. I am Jim from Just Push Play, I was Video Game Web Show. And I'm this Nicholas. is Nick, my awesome helper and fellow jokester. We'll see you next week. Adios, amigos. Take care. Keep on gaming, guys. Bye. All right.